Hello, and welcome to Read Aloud Stories with Mrs. R. I'm Mrs. Rosenthal, but a lot of kids like to call me Mrs. R. Have you ever planted something and watched it grow? In the story I'm about to read, the main character, the person who the story is about, grows vegetable plants, and she's hoping to win a blue ribbon for the biggest vegetables. Will she win? The title of the book is Mrs. Rose's Garden. Mrs. Rose's Garden, written and illustrated by Elaine Greenstein. Read with permission from Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers, an imprint of Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing Division, with special thanks to the author for signing my book. Mrs. Matilda Rose grew a vegetable garden every summer, and each year she took her best vegetables to the county fair. She wanted to win a blue ribbon more than anything else in the world. Every year, Mrs. Rose tried different fertilizers and seeds to grow the biggest vegetables. Each spring, she planted and waited and watched. But Mrs. Rose never won a blue ribbon. Someone else's vegetables were always larger. One spring, Mrs. Rose canceled her annual trip to visit her sister Florence and devoted all her time to her garden. She visited all four garden shops in town and bought every kind of fertilizer she could find. Mrs. Rose mixed the fertilizer together. She added her special mix to the soil when she planted the seeds. Then she watered the seeds and waited. A few weeks later, the little seedlings popped up through the soil. The plants seemed to be growing a little faster and larger than usual. Mrs. Rose was delighted. The lettuce and the radishes were the first vegetables ready to pick. They were enormous, and all the other vegetables looked like they were going to be huge, too. During dinner, Mrs. Rose told her husband the news. At last, I'll win a blue ribbon. In fact, I'll probably win all of them. Mrs. Rose was so certain that she was going to win that she went to town and bought a new dress and hat to wear on her big day. That night, Mrs. Rose couldn't sleep. She tossed and turned and finally got out of bed. She strolled through her garden. Growing these vegetables had brought her so much pleasure, it seemed a shame to pick them. She thought it would be fun to win a blue ribbon, but now she was sure to win every single one. Somehow, it didn't seem like fun anymore. Mrs. Rose looked at the vegetables growing in her garden. Suddenly, she had an idea, a wonderful idea. She said good night to her vegetables, walked back into the house, and went right to sleep. What do you think Mrs. Rose's wonderful idea is? Well, let's look at the clues in the book. She's wanted a blue ribbon more than anything else in the world. And she's grown the largest vegetables, and the biggest vegetables get the blue ribbon, so she should win a blue ribbon for each of them. But now she's saying it's not fun anymore. So what can she do to make it more fun? What do you predict? What do you guess that Mrs. Rose will do? In the morning, Mrs. Rose told Mr. Rose her plan, and they got started on it right away. They worked hard all day long and went to bed early. The alarm clock went off at midnight, and the Roses got up. They dressed in dark clothes, got into their car, and drove to the other side of town. They parked on the street and climbed over the fence into Hortense Splendor's garden. Very quietly, Mr. Rose dug up one of Hortense's tomato plants and replaced it with one from their garden. They put a pepper plant in Bertha Lily's garden and planted carrots for Harold Fulcrum. There was a cucumber plant for Doreen Starbinder and an acorn squash for Clara Beck. Hilda Delphinium got a watermelon vine. Dr. Raymer got broccoli and Gladys Carmel got the Brussels sprouts. 
Then Mr. and Mrs. Rose drove home, tired and dirty, but happy. And everyone's garden grew and grew. Hilda Delphinium asked Bertha Lily if her watermelons were large this year. Bertha said, No, but my peppers are huge. Dr. Raymer asked Hortense Splendor if her broccoli was big this year. She said, No larger than last year, but my tomatoes are gigantic. Gladys Carmel asked Mrs. Rose if her Brussels sprouts were the size of baseballs. Mrs. Rose said, Oh, my, and never answered the question. The roses kept their secret to themselves. At the county fair in September, Hortense Splendor won a blue ribbon for the biggest tomato. Bertha Lilly won a blue ribbon for the biggest pepper. Harold Fulcrum won a blue ribbon for the biggest carrot. Doreen Starbinder won a blue ribbon for the biggest cucumber. Clara Beck won a blue ribbon for the biggest acorn squash. Hilda Delphinium won a blue ribbon for the biggest watermelon. Dr. Raymer won a blue ribbon for the biggest broccoli. And Gladys Carmel won a blue ribbon for the biggest Brussels sprout. And Mrs. Rose? She won the blue ribbon for growing the biggest pumpkin ever. And Mr. Rose gave Mrs. Rose a special blue ribbon for having the biggest heart. Was your prediction correct? Did you guess that Mrs. Rose would help her friends to win blue ribbons? That's what made it fun for her. She secretly helped the other gardeners to win blue ribbons too. It really does make you feel good to help others, doesn't it? Meanwhile, Thanks so much for watching Mrs. Rose's Garden at Read Aloud Stories with Mrs. R. Until next time, don't forget to read.